Hello everyone! Welcome to a vlog! First I've done in a while, usually I'm just doing some other stupid shit. Um, we got a selfie stick on the camera now. I found one of my old selfie sticks, took the top part off and screwed it onto the camera. So now I got a good vlogging set up. Um, it's a pretty shit-tastic day today. My wife's out babysitting all day. Probably won't be home till late tonight. And I've just been sitting on my ass playing video games all day. Uh, I watched Back to the Future because that's my favorite, all-time favorite movie. Watched that and other than that, I've been playing video games and that's it. So, uh, I just discovered I need to go to the grocery store pick up a couple of things. Like I need some soda, uh, toilet paper. I think that's it. I'm, I'm not sure. I forget. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take you guys with me. Uh, maybe we'll find something cool on the way. Maybe I'll find something to record. If not, then oh fucking well. So yeah, uh, I got to find my car keys. And then once I find my car keys, I'll go outside and let my car warm up. What the hell do I do with my keys? Oh, I need a locator on my keys 24-7, I swear. Oh, they're all right here. <laughs> I don't even know if this camera's pointed at me. This is... Uh, one of the uh, hard things about having a camera that doesn't have a front-facing screen. Hang on, Lola. So I have to figure, you know, just hope and pray that the camera is actually on my face and not everywhere else. Is it still raining out? Nah, it's good outside now. I'm going to turn the camera around real quick. You guys can see how shitty it is out here. It is what a shit-tastic day today. Wet, rainy, freezing. It's just a shitty day. Put some salt on my steps so I don't slip and bust my ass here. Go over to the velo. Lock that door. Into the cockpit. Ooh. Oh, did I shut the blinds off? Oh yeah, check out my screensaver. Legend of Zelda. <laughs> my all-time favorite game. So yeah, um, this is going to be a pretty shit-tastic day. Maybe. Who knows? Check out my stickers, though. Need to get more for it. Some more nerdy ones, too. Let's get back up there. It's not as cold as it's been, but South Jersey, the low for the last two days was like... 11 degrees. It's definitely the worst time of the year if you ask me. Uh, so yeah, we're going to let the car warm up for a little bit. I'm sure my phone's already connected to the Bluetooth in there. Yes sir, it is. Um, yeah, we're going to let the car warm up and going to go to the grocery store, pick up a couple things, just some soda and toilet paper and crap, there was something else and I can't freaking remember what it was. It slipped my damn mind. Oh, uh, welcome to memory loss. <laughs> so, alright, I'm going to take the dog out now and let the car warm up for a couple minutes. I'll pick the camera back up uh, probably when I get in the car. So I'm going to give myself the Dumbass of the Day award. I fucking decided it was a good idea to wear slippers to the store. Ran into James and I was standing outside talking and now my feet are soaking wet and cold. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got that heat on floor, man. That 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 uh, actually, there you go. Got the heat set on the floor setting because my feet are frozen now. Uh, I'm just gonna head back to the house because there's really nothing to do. It's already 3:46 and it's just a shitty day out today. I got no ideas on where to go or to try to film anything or any kind of stupid shit like that. Um, yeah, it's just, it's bad. It's not a good day today to do anything besides sit inside and play video games all day, which is what I've been doing. Oh, man. I This is the worst time of the year. It's just, because you got nothing to do ever. Especially when it's that shitty out like it is right now, you've literally got nothing to do. It sucks. Um, shit, man. Yeah, I'm running. I got no ideas on what to do. 
I wish this was like live so I could say, oh, leave a comment down below if, so you can tell me what to do and I'll go do it. But I can't do that because it's not live. <laughs> oh, Shiza. All right, well, I guess I'm just going to uh, cut this for right now because I'm just absolutely... Wow, that was a cool little snowman. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to cut it because I don't know what to do today. And uh, I don't even know if I'm going to post this or not. Unless for some Christmas miracle I find, uh, find something to film. I'm trying to think if there's anywhere I can drive to film. Probably not. Uh, I'm going to show you guys, though, what it's like to live in the Pine Barrens where there's nothing around you at all, which is awesome. Turn the camera around. Whoa, going off the road. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, about five minutes up the road from my house. Uh, right there, that's a tint place, tint and vinyl wrap place. Uh, I've never been in there. Don't know anybody that's gotten work done by them, so I can't really give you uh, any kind of review on them. Uh, this guy has been getting on my nerves for the last couple miles. Let's go around him, Captain Slow Pants. There, Mighty Joe's. There's that sign right there. Oh, this is this is a good, uh, good something to film real quick, so you guys can see. Uh, there's uh, no cars behind me, so I'm gonna slow down. Oh, uh, look, I have no choice but to slow down because this car's doing under 40. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So up here at this gas station, I don't know if you guys can see it in frame yet. I, I think you can. Yeah, now you can see it. There's a giant monkey no that's not racist this is a literal monkey oh I just hit the camera that's gonna cause some noise right there that's Mighty Joe that was Mighty Joe uh, the owner of the place dedicated that monkey to his son who died of cancer I'm pretty sure who the owner of that place also owns Valenzano's Winery, which is practically my neighbor's, which we're going to come up on in a minute. Nothing but farmland where I live, farmland and woods, and I, I honestly, it is a great place to live, and I love every minute of it. It is such a nice place. Never have to worry about anything. Oh, something else interesting that just recently happened is my neighbor's trailer burnt down, and uh, maybe I'll take you for a quick drive right past that when we pull into my neighborhood. Um, yeah, well, I'll, I'll take you for a quick drive past that. Uh, that's part. That's a new barn they just built for the winery. I'm not sure what they're doing in there, or maybe their storage or whatever. Right there, that's the Shimung Diner. Freaking delicious. I love that place. And that's the Pine Baron store back there. A little Wawa type convenience store. Uh, here we come up on the winery now. Uno Momento. There's Valenzano's Winery right here. Great wine. I've drank their wine for since I bought my house. And uh, it is very good. Very good. Um, no, that's not the whole winery. There's other spots where there's a vineyard that they use. Uh, I'm going to cut this video real quick so we can jump to the next clip so I don't show you what neighborhood I live in. Uh, if you're from this area, you might catch on to it real quickly. But for right now, I'm, not, I'm just going to cut it so you guys can't see. And just like that, we're back. I just didn't want to film the sign to my the entrance of my neighborhood so you guys can't see where it is. Um, you're not going to be able to tell now from just filming like this. So that's the way I'm going to keep it slow over the speed bumps here. Try not to barge through that puddle right there. Uh, yeah, we're going to drive down my street real quick um, just so I can avoid pulling into my driveway so you guys can't see that either. Just in case you do figure out where I live. Oh, another speed bump. I hate these speed bumps. I'm going to drive down real quick and show you the house that just burnt down. I don't know what this person's doing. I've never seen them in here before. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know if I want to... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to film it because uh, the owners are out there. I wonder if I can do it sneakily. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's just uh, try to do it real quick. Just a quick slide shot right here. 
of the destruction. It sucks, and I feel bad for him, um, especially being that the fact that the dog was trapped inside, and it, it, it's just a very horrible thing, and I really do feel bad, because it was about two, two or three weeks ago, and, you know, Christmas time is right around the corner, so it's uh, very sad, um, very heartbreaking to, to see, and I, I really, honestly, I, I do feel bad for them. Um, it's just not a good thing. Uh, so, with that being said, I'm going to cut this clip right here, and, uh, you know, that'll be that for right now. Uh, park right here real quick. Look, a field. So, yeah, I'm going to cut this clip right now, and then we'll check back once I figure out what else to film. Back at my house, going to wrap some Christmas presents for my wife. Um, of course, I'm not going to show you that because... I know she watches the videos, and if I show you what I'm wrapping, then the dog is scared of the bag. What are you doing, Lola? What are you doing, puppy? You want to say hi to everybody? Okay, no, no, to the, the camera. No, not the scissors. Oh, look at the Christmas tree. Look at the all pretty Christmas tree. It's already got some presents down there. Lola, you were just out. You're not going outside to play. So I'm going to wrap some Christmas presents now. Um, I just wanted to show off my Christmas tree and some Christmas decorations. Oh, that strands out. Well, shit. <laughs> some good old Christmas decorations. Oh, and Scooby-Doo on the TV screen. Because that's one of my favorites, too, from my childhood. The only thing I like better than... Uh, and a candle burner. So I'm going to get to wrapping these presents. I will check back with you guys in a little bit. How many times that actually Okay, so all the presents are finally wrapped. Um, as you can tell, i got to move the camera strap, by the way. I am not a professional. Oh, the lighting in here sucks. Let's turn this light on. Oh, it's going to get bright. As you can tell, I am boy, by no means a professional at wrapping, but we're going to put this one under the tree. There's that. Let's move these pillows out of the way here and the dog's blanket and get these in here looking nice. Uh, this is her big present that I'm really, really excited for. I'll put that right there. Oh. Okay, grab these two. That like that. That over there like that. Uh, the big one. I'm gonna tuck under the tree. And for the final, the final touch, we will throw leaning on this one. Like that. And that, boys and girls, is how you do Christmas. Look, I know there's not a lot under this tree. Alright? But people need to understand one thing. I'm going to shut the slide off now. People need to understand something. Christmas is not about what you get and how much you get under the tree. It's not about how much money... Did I drop that? No. It's not about how much money you spend to get gifts for somebody. Christmas is about family. It's hard to explain because a lot of people just don't understand it. No, no, a lot of people don't get it. Christmas is about family. Oh, that was probably not pointed on me. It's about family. It's about being together. It's about celebrating the love and the happiness of each other, each other's presence. To me, Christmas means a whole lot of different things than it does to everybody else. And that's just the way it's always been. Is God, I gotta work on my camera skills. I just noticed that the lens was pointed past my head, so that's probably gonna look good. But yeah, it, it, people just need to stop being so selfish and getting stuck up and hurt because they didn't get something that they wanted for Christmas. Me, since my wife bought me this camera that we're currently talking to right now, well that I'm currently talking to right now, I told her she didn't have to buy me anything else. The camera was all I ever wanted, 
and she got it for me. Why is my phone not charging? Oh, I hate these iPhone chargers. Um, and it was all I ever wanted. I mean, she didn't have to give me a gift in the first place, but she did. She bought me this camera, and I told her specifically not to buy me anything else, but she went out and she bought me more stuff. Why isn't this working? I'm having a little bit of technical... There it goes. Um, yeah, so she went out and bought me more stuff, which I said not to, but, you know... Look, we're not the richest people in the world here. And it's just the way it is. So we, me, uh, me and Amanda both are like this. It's not about what we get for Christmas. It's just about, it's the thought that counts. And it's just about being together and being happy and celebrating such a good day. So I hope a lot of people will understand that. I hope all these uh, people that throw hissy fits because they didn't get what they wanted. I hope somebody, I hope you find your happiness one day. I really do, because that's not that's not what Christmas is about, and it's it's never been what it's about, and it's never what it's going to be about. Unfortunately, in this day and age, that's what 99% of people feel. They have to throw a hissy fit when they don't get what they want. Hence, 99% of the problems that we have with this country today. And like I said, it really sucks it's got to be that way, but it is. So I think I'm going to end this video here. Um, just a short one. Little vlog type. Lola's coming over to say hello. Just a short one. Little vlog type. Um, oh, dog! <laughs> Lola! <laughs> Stop! Oh, the joys of having a pit bull. Stop! Vicious pit bull attack! Uh, come on, Lola. You're not... You're. You're 110 pounds, dog. You're not a lap dog. Oh, man. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Lola. Oh, man. Yeah, that's what you get when you get a pit bull. You don't get bit, but you get licked to death, and they think they're lap dogs. Now she's going to sit here and watch Scooby-Doo with me for the rest of the day. So, yeah, I'm going to cut this video now. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell button so you know every time I upload. Leave a comment and uh, I'll leave my Instagram names to both my pages down below. Go look, Lola, you're hitting the camera with your tail. You're messing everything up. I'll leave both the names down below. Lola, <laughs> God damn it, dog, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop! Oh man, yeah, I'll leave, I'll leave the names below. You guys go look them up and follow them. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you in another video.